welcome to my channel fat to keto my friends call me jelly yes i have a real name i don't go by it i don't usually say it and and it's a little weird when i hear people say it or put it on stuff i guess it's because for the last 15 years all my friends have been online and i've gone by online names so people called me jelly people called me um alexa a lot um well letza so, because my gaming names were Jelly Alexa, one combination, like I wanted it to just be Alexa or I just wanted to be Jelly and most games wouldn't allow me to do that. Um, I have been known as other names too for years, like in World of Warcraft it was Izmi or Ismia, depending on which one of my characters I was on. It was a name I came up completely by myself and no one else in the world has it. So you can usually find me in games underneath Izmi. So, and it's spelled funky, but yeah, when I hear my real name, I always think I'm in trouble because it's only my parents who call me that. Um, I do have friends from 15 years ago that called me by my real name, but you know, I haven't really had any real friends that I can go see and do stuff with in forever. So I'm used to online names. It's kind of weird. Like when I was seeing my real name mentioned in some comments, I was just like, it's weird. Like, I think I'm in trouble. I think my mom's yelling at me or something. <laughs> but, so, I've lost 201 pounds on a keto diet. Um, I am up officially today three pounds from my lowest. Is it because I'm eating carrots? Is it because I'm eating berries? Is it because I'm eating multiple times a day? Is it because I went to 14, 1500 calories? Is it from the Quest chips? Is it from this? Is it from that? Guess what? I don't know and I don't care. Because it's water weight. And I knew I wasn't going down this month. It's way past time for me to go down. It's already time for ant flow. So it is what it is, right? No clue why I didn't go down the eight pounds like I have been every single month all spring and summer. But maybe my body is like, girl, I gave you 50 something pounds over here since uh, April. So I need a rest and we ain't going down anymore. But my inches have gone down drastically. So if that's okay for right I mean that's amazing so I did not I do not have a printout from the scale it would not connect to the phone this morning and I said the heck with it it was 170.2 so that's three pounds up right yeah so that's three pounds up from my lowest it's okay no big deal um but I can show you my Fitbit. I also haven't been exercising because of the migraines. And I've been taking Modrin around the Glock for a whole week. And we all know ibuprofen makes my weight go up. So you factor in all these little things and I'm perfectly fine with only a three pound up. So I'm going to show you my Fitbit and I'm going to show you my carb manager. And I've been doing that instead of total carbs because I needed a break and some freedom and I have decided as long as it doesn't hurt me I'm gonna do net on weekends period and then go back to total during the week so no carrots and stuff during the week but I can have them on the weekend right okay cuz most of y'all can eat all this kind of stuff and peppers and onions and you're fine so I'm a little jealous and I need a little break on the weekends because I've been pushing myself so hardcore since the first of April that I need some breathing space. Yeah, I got 20 more, well, 19 more pounds plus, you know, the three pounds of water weight. Um, so I'm good. I am completely happy with myself right now. So when the pounds come off, they come out. Let's look at those little cards that I'm going to insert real fast. And then I'm going to show you what my mom wanted me to show you. Okay, so this is not my biggest one I'm about to talk about um, but during my ascend to 368 remember that's not really my heaviest that's just what my skill would not go past that like I had gotten way bigger but somewhere in the 360s or 350s um, I had this nightgown that I had stopped wearing because um, it came up like here on me, like a shirt and my underwear was showing. I couldn't walk or move. Um, and yeah, so my mom took it and she was wearing it um, as a nightgown. 
like it should have been. Um, and yesterday she had washed it and she's like, you should do a video on this. This used to be a shirt on you. So, well, let me show you. This used to be a shirt on me, literally. That's how big my stomach and my booty was. I want to say the A word, but I'll be nice. Uh, booty was, okay? This was a shirt on me. Like, my boobs barely fit it. My back didn't fit it. It was pulled in every direction. Um, let me see if I can move this back a little more. I don't think I can. This room is not that big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. My head's going to get chopped off for a second. Okay. Oh, I still can't show you on the bottom. All right. So there's the bottom way down to my ankles. And this used to come way up here because I was so fat. This was a shirt on me. Okay. A shirt, people. I wore this as a shirt. And this is during the time I could not put any real clothes on because I didn't fit any real clothes. A shirt and now so you know that little bit of water weight means nothing to me because check this this is insane completely completely insane to me so yeah to this size 12 size 11 size well I did get in a size 10 skinny jean yesterday which I see people shove themselves in the jeans, lay on beds. I didn't have to lay down to get it up, but I would not wear it because I don't like tight clothes. As you can see, these um, these are a 12 and they're huge on me. So, but my 12 jeans, I think fit perfect. <laughs> so that's how I like them. All right. What is in store for today? Well, today's Sunday and I have not decided yet because originally... I was going to go to the Coles in the next town over, and I still might do it. I have not decided. I didn't do d dishes yesterday or the day before. It's just me that lives here. But I made a big mess yesterday using multiple things, so I do need to do all those dishes today. And I usually clean my whole kitchen, wipe everything down, move it, dust it, you know, make sure everything's sanitized with vinegar because I don't use chemicals. Then I usually sweep them off the floor on Sundays. I do laundry. The only laundry I need to do really is the new clothes I got. Um, so yeah. But I have a whole list of stuff that I need to start doing. I need to write this list down and start tackling it one by one by one. Or I'm never going to get it done. Ever. So if you just saw the collaboration video about the yoga, I'm really, really nervous like insanely nervous i'm not a yoga person and i'm not a person that exercises on video but maybe if i can get over over it in the next four plus weeks you know making these videos maybe i'll be able to show y'all me in a headset looking ridiculously stupid doing my vr because it's stupid you got this big headset on and you're trying to do all these weird movements and stuff and yeah like there's movements like this and then it's just yeah and of course I named them names that I won't be saying because some of them are pretty dirty names I named the movements um but and then I can't have the music going because yeah that part's gonna be a little hard because I legally can't have any of the music going but it comes through the speakers on the computer so I gotta figure out how to record with no sounds or I have a program to edit out the sound. I just got to figure out how to use it properly. I have all this stuff and I just can't figure out how to use it. Or my sleep is so messed up that I don't have enough time in the day. I, I lay down between 8 and 10. I get out of bed between 10 and 12. And it says I sleep about 8 hours. But, uh, and it says I wake up during that time 27 to 30 times. All right, I'm talking about um, waking up because I have to pee, waking up because I hear a noise, even though I have a fan going. It's probably not. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, waking up because 
I just wake up or a heartburn wakes me up or I had a nightmare. I am a wake up queen when it comes to sleeping. So I'm spending too many hours in bed trying to get eight hours of sleep or even six that most of my day is being wasted in that bed. So I need to figure out how to stay asleep. I've tried exercising before bed. I've tried taking cold showers, hot showers. I've tried putting my Zen music on. I play, uh, sometimes I can sleep with shows going. So I leave the shows going. Um, I, but this is not a new thing. Okay. I've had a sleeping disorder since I was born and I'm exhausted and come eight o'clock at night, I'm exhausted. I can't stay awake. I sleep for an hour or two. I wake up and then back to sleep, wake up, back to sleep. And then I can't wake up in the morning because I'm so exhausted. Like I had no sleep because I just woke up like 27 times. And even the Fitbit shows the little lines of how many times I've woken up. It's not from snoring. I don't snore. Um, I just have very vivid dreams that wake me up among other things. Cause I got to pee a lot at night. Even if I go five hours without drinking, I still have to pee all night. It's never fails. I am a peeing queen and I do not really drink that much. I drink two or three coffees a day and one thing of water. That's it. But I've always been that way. I've always had to get up all night long and pee. So, what am I having today? Probably just some of that nasty meatloaf. I mean, it wasn't nasty, okay? It tastes just fine. It is ground sirloin. It is a real steak. It is not hammer meat in any way, shape, or form. It was just ground patty back up with some um, egg and seasonings. So it tastes fine. It's just boring, but I might just get some lettuce and tomato and maybe sour cream. I don't know. Sour cream stalls me, but guess what? It's that time of the month. I ain't going down anyways. So maybe, maybe I'll make it like a taco salad. I want some more of those chips, those quest chips. But come tomorrow, there's no more snacking, even if it is that time of the month where you are back to the one meal a day with no snacking. Because that's my rules right now. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I can do snacking. I can do multiple meals. I don't have to do the 15 to 20 something hour fast. Um, I can do net carbs, but Monday through Thursday, we are total carbs, one meal a day, no snacking, no big ingredients, and total carbs. Yeah, now I'm going to shut up because I am just rattling today because it is Sunday and I can't decide what I want to do and he'll be calling back again soon being like, where are you? What's taking so long? You said you're going to make a very fast video. Mm -hmm. This is me being fast because I'm a blonde and I run my mouth and I am so ready to go get my hair done. I'm just not ready to sit there five to eight hours with a mask on in a chair. And I have to find a mask I don't really like because uh, it'll bleach out. Because that bleach destroys my clothes too. I always have to make sure I'm wearing clothes I don't like. Because I am sticking with the blonde. The blonde's not going away yet. It'll probably go away around Christmas time. Unless I can get some money to pay for another hair trip. Um can only afford two a year usually. I usually get them in October and I usually get my hair done in March. So in March I go for my birthday. I always get it blonde. Usually in October I go and get it red for the winter because I can afford putting Ardent Fox in it all winter long and keeping it looking red. Um, blonde I will not do at home and it costs more. During the summer I don't need it done. This is from the sun. Um, because it was red, but the sun, you can still see some of the red right there, but the sun light bleached it out. But a lot of y'all want me to stay blonde, and I agree with y'all. I think the blonde does look best, and I would stay blonde probably all year long, but it's close to $200. And this girl don't have $200 to be wasted multiple times a year. My birthday is paid for, for my birthday. October, I usually take some of my Christmas money, early Christmas money, and stick in there. Um... To help pay for it. Last year I used my birthday money and because I got under 200 pounds my parents gave me a hundred dollars so I used it together and got my hair done. Well no that was the year before because last year um this year I meant uh we had the virus and I couldn't go get it done. I remember now the evil virus trapped us in the house. So yeah so I really want to go get it done. 
and it's expensive and I'm really scared that my hairdresser don't work there anymore. I don't know. I'm at college yet. Okay, so tomorrow I don't know if I'll be putting out a video because I have to go two and a half hours in one direction for mammogram. I usually go to UNC Cancer Hospital, but because of the virus, I am not allowed near that hospital right now. They won't let anyone near it for testing, so they're sending me to another facility of theirs to go get my mammogram done. And I have to go to those kind of places because there is a spot that they found um, three years ago or two, somewhere around there, that they cannot biopsy. They have tried over and over again, and I've gotten hurt, and it's just too far back for them to biopsy. But the last two times, it has shrank more and more. So whatever it is, it's shrinking. It was in the beginning getting bigger and bigger every time I went, but now it is shrinking. They also can't see it on an ultrasound because of the angle it is. So yeah, but I used to have to go every three to six months getting this done. Same with getting the biopsy of my uterus. Um, I only do that at once a year. Like this year, I didn't even need a biopsy for my uterus. They let me go without it because of my weight and I'm having no symptoms. Um, but the mammogram, because breast cancer runs in my dad's side of the family really bad, and, and my mom's, I forgot, my mom ended up with breast cancer too. I have no choice but to keep a very close eye on it, especially since they cannot reach it to know exactly what it is. So, here I go, shutting up, and I will show you what I eat today, and I'll tell you what I do. So I just left Fresh Mark. Um, yeah, it's late. It's like almost 8 o'clock. I need to get my butt home, and I got an hour drive. So... I haven't eaten today. We're gonna have one of these. And we're gonna try this bad boy. It's five carbs for the whole bag. It's pork rinds with cinnamon um, by Epic. Okay, I love the little stick, so we'll see. I'm gonna, can't really hold this, hold on. Let's open the bag. First impression, it smells like pork rinds with cinnamon, kind of like those things you get at Taco Bell. Needs more cinnamon. I use cinnamon and monk fruit. I think I'm gonna try and make these myself. Okay, I need to get driving. Okay, so I just got back from Freshmark. I got me two pounds of hamburger meat. This was not the price I paid because it was buy one get one free, so it was like seven dollars and something. I know I said for the week I was doing total carbs, but guess what? It's PMS, and I don't want to fall off the wagon like I did two weeks ago. So we're doing net carb for the whole week. I got some more carrots and berries and some strawberries. I split with my family because I still have some. I had one of these bad boys today, and I ended up having an allergic reaction from those pork rinds, and I don't know why. Also, these came in the mouth, so I'm really excited. I had to share them with my daughter. Um, let me turn this around. So I had to share it with my daughter, but um, I ate almost the whole bag, at least three servings of it and got really sick filling my throat started itching my mouth started itching there should not have been anything I'm allergic to in it I don't know what happened so so far that's all I've eaten today I think I'm going to have some berries um and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to have some berries I'm going to have two to three ounces of the carrots and that's going to be my dinner today I do not feel like having meat at all so that's going to be my only food today and tomorrow I'll you know, show you the carb manager and show you what it equaled. Yes, my protein will be non-existent, but that's okay for one day, right? I also tried to drink one of the caramel protein shakes earlier and started to get my heart palpitations, and I realized it's causing me to have heartburn, which is causing the heartburn type heart palpitations. They aren't real heart palpitations, so I might not have needed to go back up on my meds, um, but we'll see in a couple of weeks because it's too late to change it again. I have to wait. So yeah, that's been my day. Oh, I did get some stuff at Kohl's in Southern Pines. It's just some jeans, a jean skirt or two, a corduroy jacket where I can turn all these shirts into winter shirts because I can wear the corduroy jacket over it and look cute. Well, at least not freezing winter, not like January, but the rest of the time it's not cold enough to need a thick jacket. 
So that's why I decided to do it because I have tons of summer shirts like this that I still want to wear because they're my favorite. I feel comfortable in them. So the corduroy jacket is going to look adorable with it. And I have a pink one too and this one's a brown one. So uh, yeah, I think that's it. So we will, I'm not, I might not weigh in tomorrow. We will see. I don't know if I'm going to get a video out because I'm driving like four to five hours tomorrow. So yeah, of course not all at once, but it's for my appointment and it's crazy far. Hopefully it's not raining. So I need to put this video together because it's after eight and I need to go to bed soon. Okay, so this is all I'm eating. Um, I ate a little bit of those pork rinds and like I said, one of these today. And that's it. Oh, I did eat two ounces of ground beef earlier today with one ounce of cheese that I had forgotten about.